Entry Gate Check that the gate between the shear and the entry conveyor is not up. If the gate is down, check that the arm on the switch is not stuck or damaged. Check the wire to the switch to see if it is loose or damaged. If the error continues, replace the switch as necessary. Check the input. From the home screen, touch Test Setup, then touch Show Inputs. Check to see if the input is on or if the input is off. Hydraulic Positioner If the table does not move, check that the hydraulic pump is on. Check that there is no mechanical binding or that a piece of bar is not wedged, preventing the table to move. To manually move the table in and out, from the home screen, press Test Setup. To move the table slowly, select the Manual Position button on the touch screen. Then, use the Table Position in and out switch on the console to move the table in and out. To move the table more rapidly, select both the Manual Position button and the Position Speed button on the touch screen. Be sure that the LED light on the valve stack for the hydraulic positioner is lit when Position Speed button is selected on the touch screen. Hydraulic pressure low. An alert will appear on the screen if the system pressure has reached a low level. This could cause the machine not to be able to shear bar. Sitting idle, the pump should be around 600 PSI and the maximum cutting force should be around 3100 PSI. You must pull up the top of the tank and check the pump and pressure hose for cracks. Also inspect the load sense hose. Motor Starter Protector MSP If an MSP trips, the error could read MSP 1 through 5. Reset the MSP number indicated in the error message. The MSPs are located in the electrical starter box. If MSP continues to trip, Look for mechanical binding or obstruction causing resistance on the motor. If conveyor is clear of binding and restrictions and MSP continues to trip, slightly increase the current adjustment on the MSP using a screwdriver to make small adjustments. Oil Filter An oil filter needs to be replaced error screen will appear when the oil filter needs to be changed. A sensor will trip on the filter cap. In the tripped state, a red button protrudes. The red button is flush in the normal state. To replace the oil filter, remove four bolts on the filter cap. Unplug the sensor and then pull the filter out. Replace the filter. Not replacing the oil filter could lead to premature failure of other parts in the hydraulic system. Oil Temperature There is a temperature sensor inside the hydraulic tank. If the oil is reaching an unsafe temperature level for the hydraulic system, an oil temperature warning level screen will appear with instructions of things to check. Check for turbulence in the oil by removing six Phillip head screws on the hydraulic oil fill cap. Use a flashlight to see if the oil is turbulent or full of air bubbles. If the oil is turbulent, you must pull up the top of the tank and check the pump and pressure hose for cracks. Stops liftoff arms will not activate. If the stops or liftoff arms will not activate, test the inputs. See Test Setup Diagnostics video. Check for communication errors. From the main screen, press the Test Setup button. Then, press the Network Test button at the top right on the screen. A pop-up will appear. All of the address lines should show up with no errors. Check the manual overrides on the air valves. Using a small screwdriver or a pointed object, press in the manual overrides as shown. Check that the motor starter protectors are not tripped. 
The MSPs are located in the starter box along with the circuit breakers. Check the input-output boards. If replacing a board, be sure to note the addressing it is set on and whether it has jumpers on it. In this example, we are replacing the board that is addressed as 3. Switches 1 and 2 are depressed and has jumper 1 and 2 attached. 